And Arika versus who cares? 1v1. That's how we do it. That's how we do it, boys. Anyways, who cares versus Antarctica? All right, after yeah, after this might be a good idea to watch that uh, other SP replay from Amprin, if he's still here. All right, so we got in the bottom left corner, we have Antarctica playing as Germany. Germany is the allied faction and it grants you the extra chrono shift. Had a pause by who cares? And who cares is playing France. Who gets is also an allied faction and gets access to the phase transport, which is a some sort of unit transportation vehicle that can go stealth. And they also get fake buildings. So they can make buildings. I think it's with 30% HP. I'm not sure. 30% of the actual building. HP and we're playing on Pleasant Plains which was a map from the Cautious Cup I think Antarctica is going for War Factory first here oh no he's not interesting Early rocket production from Who Cares here. And almost no unit production from Antarctica. Very interesting, but he is going for double rift, so he that's implying he is going for a huge economy build here. Or he could have gone War Factory first with two uh, harvesters skipping the light vehicle, but I think he doesn't want to take that risk. Yeah, interesting. Double riff with no unit production. And who cares going for four rockets and a medic? Rockets leading the army though. Like if the rockets get sniped just like that. Oh, that rocket is done for. And now it's a ranked boy versus an unranked boy. And this guy is running away. Another rocket going down, another rocket going down. The rifles are actually targeting, prioritizing the rockets here. And now this is pretty much useless right now. Pillbox has come down. Who cares? Also went for the double rep. But he did invest a lot more. Like all of these rockets are 300 assets each, so that's already 1200 assets. Yeah, this is a weird game. But then again, Antarctica is playing against who cares, so maybe Antarctica was like, yeah, this will probably be a weird game. Who, who cares also is really going for these cheeky builds, which are fun to watch if they get executed well. All right, the medic is going to get sniped here. Yeah, this is really four harvesters right now. Oh yeah, and Arca is doing something really weird. He already has the SD out. Unfortunately, he's making another harvester though. So I feel like... And a ranger. Okay, so let me just get this straight. Like, tell me if I'm wrong. But... If you're going to make an har a harvester and another ranger then i feel like the sd could have been made later and you you could have made those two rexes first i feel but that's just me anyways let's check eco right now an extra harvester for who cares though uh, he didn't really produce. He's not producing that much, I feel. I think he just started production about a few minutes ago. A few seconds, I'd say. So, Antarctica is currently in the lead, but he really got some nice early rocket snipes. But then again, this game isn't really like the standard 1v1 that you 
are encountering. You could, but the three hearts won't be enough for going triple racks. Um, uh, like, the, it's just weird. Like, he could have made... I think the Smitty build would have been better. But I think the Smitty build is not going to work because you don't have enough, enough ore. But, like, the Smitty build pretty much accomplishes the same thing. Only he would have had six harvesters instead of... Three to four, but that's also more of a War Factory first variation. But yeah, this build was just weird in a lot of ways. Oh, that's unfortunate. No pillbox drop. I usually like to wait for one pillbox at least. But he will deal with that efficiently. Harvester going in with heavy armor, and the rifles will clean that up. But that's better. Look at that. Well, heavy attack here. Who cares? Is base pushing? Caught Antarctica off surprise. We'll lose that tank. Double war factory coming up for Antarctica. Let's hope he doesn't lose that right now. But he should be good. Cleaned that up very efficiently. Used the tank to get some extra vision, and the minigunner just killed off everything here. And who cares? He's making a good decision here, going straight for main. But Antarctica has... I was about to say he has the same idea, but... Doesn't seem like it. And I think Antarctica is expecting it right now. Because he feels like it's taking a very long time for who cares army to appear once again. That rocket is leading the attack, but he will die. Alright, he will get some nice harvester snipes here. Who cares? It's just... Alright, he's not going to ignore it. Oh, he's going straight for the expansion. But... We'll kill... The pillbox will kill a lot of infantry before they can actually hit the pillbox. Lots of rockets have already fallen, I feel. Alright, so that was a uh, good trade for Anorica and actually a very bad decision from Who Cares. Who Cares was trying to defend. Uh, he will defend this. Oh, I'm not sure that that was a good idea to go for the pillbox. I think I should have ignored the pillbox because your infantry was pretty much doomed to die anyways. But uh, yeah, Who Cares is getting played. But that was a good trade for Antarctica. He got one or two harvesters versus only just a pillbox for who cares. And now Antarctica had much uh, like the time he needed to defend himself from who cares attack. That would go on to the main army. Lots of medium tanks here, but that's mainly because of the second war factory coming out from Antarctica. That means you can just produce extra medium tanks uh, faster than your opponent can. If who cares can handle this, he should be good. But if... Oh, that turret is... Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Anarka wasn't feeling him. Didn't really trust himself in that engagement. I was thinking he would go for the MCV, but he did not. They're actually trading back and forwards here. Now who cares has the lead. Slightly. But I feel that will instantly vanish right now. Yep, it's about to happen. But Anarika still... I don't know, it's tough. Ooh, that's a free turret to be fair. I'm surprised that's still alive. Lots of medium tanks for who cares right now, but they're a little bit out of position. And his infantry is not... Oh... Well, I'm not sure about that right now. Pierce did get a lot of crushes with the medium tanks, but decides to back off. Alright, nice base push from Antarctica. This is actually really good. It denies... If he just puts one turret down, it denies this ore patch completely. Um, but... It's tough to say. They're both on zero cash, but who cares? Still has the lead in army value a little too.
Yeah, it's tough to say who will win this. Oh, he's still lurking. There he is. What's this? Wait, what the fuck? Nice, I got sunglasses on my face. That's fucking epic, dude. I'm noticing a severe lack of caution push up. Hey. All of a sudden, I realized that was a bad idea. I was getting mocked way too much. Am I seeing Artis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Antarctica is getting wrecked over here. But, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep. To uh, think of different challenges. See if you guys have any idea. Then uh, that is greatly appreciated. Well, this was not good. Lost the MCV in the process. Did Antarctica. And the army value difference is getting bigger and bigger here. In who cares advantage. He will clean up that turret as well. Anarka still has that extra war factory though. Okay. Unfortunately, who cares? Oh, I was about to say, who cares? Uh, microed all the rockets. Oh, this is not looking great. He should really get the fuck out of there with that. Uh that turret really didn't accomplish anything here but like he is you're completely right that Anarka has who cares under control pretty much even though he's falling behind he's pretty much leading who cares forces like who cares is not deciding where his forces are going to go it sounds weird sounds psychological but actually Anarka is controlling who cares army here bad engagement a little bit tank should have been in front but Let's see what Hukir's decision will be this time. This is what this is what I mean. This is what I mean that Ant Antarctica is controlling the battle here. And if Hukir keeps doing that, he will lose. Eventually, he will lose. He will get a good cleanup here. He will be able to kill this. Okay, but he lost the war factory. He will probably... Oh, Anarika, go! please go for the SD. Yes, you still have two rockets here as well. One more rocket. Three tanks. You can put your tanks onto the SD and that is valuable. I feel that is good. He's still 10k behind though. But this is no tank production. Uh, and no vehicle production anyways. Because he has no war factory. So this is what I mean that Anarika is controlling the battlefield. Wait, three? Oh my god. <laughs> Third war factory coming down from Antarctica here. Let's look at the army value really quick. He's still 10k behind though, but he might be able to come back from this now that who cares has no war factory. But I think he just made one because he's producing an artillery somewhere. Wait, am I blind? Okay, there it is. Weird position from who cares, but he's playing really defensive. He doesn't realize that he's be, uh, ahead, I think. But I, I feel like this position is so that he can quickly protect his main and also protect his expansion. You want to keep your army a little bit in the middle so they can go both ways. But here comes another attack. This time it's a split. Another rev going down. That pillbox isn't going to do much. The pillbox is getting micro though. And Anarka is going to back off. And that's smart. And once again, as you can see, Hukes was ready to go to defend. He's not... Wait, he just sold his SD! Wait, what the fuck? He sold his SD, interesting. Alright, there he goes. Who cares? He's going in. I'm surprised there's actually the lack of pillboxes here. But Antarctica is going for a tech center, and that means we're going to see Tanya pretty soon. Unfortunately, I feel... Wait, what is Hukir's doing? This is a very nice concave from Antarctica with pillboxes, camo pillboxes. Yeah, the, the only 
good thing going for Hulk Crush now is that he has the artillery. But that army got completely destroyed and now it's even. 10k is what Antarctica was behind on and he made it even. Tanya coming out and now there's tier 3 for Antarctica here. Blackhawks are not in a position to do anything. He can, he will, yeah, he will surrender his Blackhawks. Yep. Oh, the rocket wing. Oh. Yep, that's dead as well. That's three have Blackhawks out. I'm not sure that's valuable. And why is this game lagging so much? All of a sudden, is someone pulling the plug? Will I have to make another tough call? Demo pillboxes. I never make those. Like I, I, I feel like it's a waste of money. But maybe I should think differently about that. That's not a good spot to hide under if you have three RTs shooting the power plant. Did who care see that? Yeah, he's going to kill him. He should really get out of there because he's going to lose Tanya for free. I'm not sure why he just kept it in there. Yep, rip time. Yeah. Alright, he should deploy the MCV if he has the chance so he can put down some more static defenses, but he's not going to. Because I I'm surprised there's the lag of stat static defenses here from uh Anarica. Well, it will all come down to this army, I feel. If Who Cares loses this army and the Arties, I feel like uh, it will be GG. Unfortunately for Antarctica, he doesn't really have the infantry to support this, but who really needs infantry if he just can crush the entire army? And Who Cares is on the run. Lots of medium tanks, but yeah, the difference in, who in medium tanks should eventually make the difference here. I mean, Antarctica is on three war factories right now. Let's see how fast his tanks come out. Well, it would matter if he's producing, but I think both players are just really low on cash. Who cares? He's floating slightly. The map is completely dried out. That is a fact. Actually? Nice ref from uh, Antarctica over here would be nice. This is my or Well, not anymore. Oh! Big and coming down from Antarctica. It looks like 12 seconds, but without cash, it will probably take like half an hour. Unfortunately, the engineer from WhoCare didn't do anything. But it's still close. Who cares? once again has the lead in army value. And once again, Antarctica has a lot of tanks. But that's it. I feel his build is really strong, but not on this map. Oh, Tanya is in that pillbox. Oh, she killed every infantry. That was sick. And that look at that army value. And there's a lot of eco harassment going on from yeah, Antarctica and who cares calls a GG. What a game. What a game. Well played by Antarctica. Terminated.